Hello, I'm Ruth Nene from Kicktronic Limited. Excited to introduce our new ERP system powered by Offbees. Designed to streamline your business processes and enhance efficiency. And today we'll be doing a high level walkthrough of our accounting section. On the main page or tab when you log in, the information that will come up will show your accounts receivable past due invoices and accounts payable past due invoices. Here are invoices from our different customers and here is showing the totals and what's outstanding. And also here is what we need to pay our different suppliers or customers. These are the invoices and these are what's the dates and the total amount. How much we have to pay so we will click here we also have different tabs for different options so we can email out to somebody we just want to see ones that are just status uh, to send and status to ready we can just search through the ones that are there we can also send through PDF so on the invoice, you have your sales invoice. This is the description. You have company information. And to who the, cost, the other customer is, it the status, is it approved, not approved. You will see the status of the invoice here and the date. Here we are. Here's the status. And as you can see, like I said, in, in process and approved. And we are at approved stage, so it's showing approved here. This is the uh, uh, payment, this is the date it was due, this is the amount, and this is the amount that was paid, and this is the amount outstanding. So here we have different items, so it's a breakdown of the cost, so if we see here, this, this is the invoice. We will also have a description, a unit price and quantity, and then the total. So the different kinds of items would add up to the whole total amount and it would be listed here. So if there's different kinds of items then everything would be held under here. So if you go to accounts payable past you, just click here. And the same kind of information on the other invoice, so you have your purchase invoice, description, and then this is the supplier or the other party's information here. As you can see, we're still in process, we haven't paid, and then our company information and our date. So as you see, our status says it's in process, so we haven't paid it yet. This is the due date, this is the amount that's due, the amount that we've paid, and the amount outstanding. And as before on the other one, you see that we have two different kinds of items. Uh, if we add all this together, that would give us the total amount. So it's a breakdown exactly of what services or what we have um, to pay, what we need to pay. And then it gives us the total for the invoice. So we go to payments. If we're looking for a payment, um, we can't find it. Every payment I has a payment ID. If we know it, we can just type that in. Or we can say, if you know a bit of the payment ID, you could say it contains something or it begins with this, and we can search through that way. We can choose the kind of payment type. So we have customer payment, could be a gift certificate, was it a paycheck, is it payroll, receipt, sales tax, these are all different options that you can use on there. And we need to know the status. So do we know if it was confirmed, was it paid, received, sent, voided, we can go through and check. If we know the amount, we can put the amount in and we press fine. Then this would give up a list of all the stuff that we were looking for. And we can search for the payment then. We also have find a payment group so sometimes our payments are grouped together and we can search the same way if we know the 
group ID, we can put it in here, a group type, and we can press find. So here we knew our group type was a uh, check run. So we would put it in here, it would decided to save it as a PDF. So we have the information here, the day, the amount. And we also know which invoices they're linked to here and the total amount. Remember that all these main tabs, information inside, everything can be customized. So everything would show your customer, have your information on, you have your business logos, and you can decide which you want in, which one out, what you want to add in, and we can do all those. And then you would have your payment group IDs here, and you can search the same way. Let's go to transactions. So the different transactions that we have through the gateway, we can have a look the same way we can look through the payments, so payment capture, payment refund service, was it through the credit card service, and we can check through all those and find the one that we want and the payment type. So did they use a company credit card? Was it a finance from the financial account? Was it money order? Was it PayPal? RBS World Pay, eBay, we can go through the list and check exactly where this payment came from and we can press find and it would list all the different kinds of results and all the information will be put in there and you can choose the one that you want. And the same with the find payment gateway config, we can look through here and the same way we would choose which one from the list and the same information we would find and it would come up here as a result and you could see the information. So we have find billing accounts, you could put the account limit and you would choose your dates, so you would put your date in there and then you could also go up to the hour, uh, minute and seconds if you knew. So you knew it was maybe Tuesday at, you know, it was after lunch. So you said, okay, it was at around one, two o'clock. So you could know that it was done then and you would press done and then you would press find and that would bring up the information. And that would just show the billing ID, the account limit, description, date, from and to. So we'll go to financial accounts. So here is the different kinds of uh, accounts that we own. We'd have our company details, we'd know exactly what's in the accounts. So if we just click on here, and this will give all our information. We know that's our company, and it would have the dates from, and we can just go through and see what we need here. We can go through roles transactions, deposits and withdrawals, so we can just click in the kind of payment method that we want, or the type, we know which card it's from, we can go through here. Uh, we have deposits, so was it a check deposit in, cash, we can go through here, and reconciliation. Go for here, we put the information in, and then we, we can just choose the options that we want. We know it's our company, and we press search, and it would bring up something like this. So, we here we'd have the ID, the name, obviously, this a GI account ID, and the company information. So, we know that this one was reconciled, balance was this amount here, and on this date. So we also have agreements. You would put the product ID, party ID from, and party ID to, and the type of agreement, is it product, purchase, sales, employment, other, commission, end user license agreement. So we could put that in there, we would search, and this would give up the information all that we needed here.
If we're looking for certain fixed assets that the company owns, and we need to know all the things that, that we would choose in this list here. So for fixed assets, we need to maybe know things about depreciation and how long did we have it for? Is it gone through its depreciation? How much is it worth? And we would put the information here, choose the one that we want, press find, and it would bring all the information up. So it has obviously the expected end of life, for your depreciation, the cost, the value, and then here we go, depreciation here, and then we would know how long the lifespan of the fixed asset is worth. So we go to budgets. We're looking for a certain budget type, we will just press here, press find, and that will bring that up. And we can also see comments that people have written. If we go to the global GR setting, we can also print these off or we can export it. Here is all our different types of transactions. So if we go here in, in the first one, and we can also navigate accounts so we can say, okay, the assets, and I want to see the cash. Uh, cash in bank in hand and there we go we can choose which kind of section that would be under and then it would give the information use the different codes and IDs classes and everything over there we can add stuff in to each one and update we can also edit custom time periods here we go. This is what the month would be, the company, the period, type, name, date, and we can update, delete. We have cost of calculations here. We can put all these different kinds of items in here for ID. And then we would able to submit and then we have the information here at the bottom so we know this is operating expense here is more options if we know which one we need to choose and then we would press update or we can delete we have payment method type so if we're trying to find out where did this come from and this one came from different items that here we can choose exactly where we know okay so maybe this one said that it came from credit card but we know that no this was uh, from the bank we can say we deposit it in and change it here and then we would press update uh, so we have checks credit cards so we know what kind of payment method we can also have our invoice so we can look back at see where the invoice came from. We have a description and then which account it was in and we press, can press update. We also have rates. So we have average pay rate, how much is a month, the position and the amount. So we can have that in or we can delete it for if it's not needed. So here are the rates that we used for different currencies. This is stored in here and we can see and we can also check the dates from when because obviously when we have different currencies they can um, move up and down on the rate so we can check okay last month it was cheaper for this rate this month it's higher. And if we're looking for different accounts, because if you have different, sometimes we have sister companies and we need to find out which one is linked with which, we can use it through this one as well. And which kind, obviously, like I said, we have different sister companies, so we can say all the different branches. We can find out where the payment from, from each branch came from.
and that's our name, Kicktronic Limited. That's our company, and you'll see you can check the information from all these things here. So that's our accounting section, our ERP section of of bees. Thank you. Join us for more videos on our ERP system. Thank you. Goodbye.